Hello, welcome to another Rack with you. I'm Tinius Riley, and today I will be reviewing the new 2023 uh, Babylon Pure Arrow uh, that will be released or has been released. Now um, you can demo it at Tennis Warehouse, for example, and that's where I got it. So a big thank you to Tennis Warehouse Europe for providing me this racket as usual. Uh, go check them out. You can use my uh, code rally twe10 is on the screen right now so you just copy that and you get a 10 percent discount uh, when you shop at tennis warehouse europe so i think we can start off with uh, the specs of this frame you can see them on the screen right now we have a 300 gram unstrung weight a 32 centimeter balance uh, we have the 65 ra in stiffness and a swing weight of 322 so compared to the last version of the Pure Arrow, there's not much difference in the two frames uh, that we can really notice. Um, the big difference for me at least when hitting uh, is the fact that the string pattern is a bit tighter. It's still a 16 by 19 string pattern, but it's uh, uh, more tight. So the string spacing isn't as spread out as it used to be. You can see on the pure drive or the old pure arrow that the strings are really spread out towards um, the outer circle of the frame which creates a lot of topspin uh, a high launch angle uh, and a lot of power so this frame maybe doesn't deliver as much pop power and spin uh, as the previous i think it's more towards the older style of the Arrow Pro Drive, uh, where the string pattern is a bit tighter, so instead of skipping two mains, you only skip one. And for me, personally, it suited me better because I like the control. I like to direct the, the ball more, uh, which is hard when the string spacing is so wide. Uh, so for me, I really like this. The other thing we can see is uh, the stiffness is a bit lower. Uh, it's 65 instead of 67 with the pre with the previous um, and as i said it's not a big difference you can feel maybe it's a bit softer um, uh, if you have arm trouble uh, problems with uh, tennis elbow and so on uh, maybe this would be better if you have a pure arrow to change to this newer one it will be a bit more arm friendly still nothing you should uh, go with if you have arm problems um, it's still a stiff frame because it's still powerful uh, spin friendly so the stiffness needs to be there in order to get the power from the frame uh, but it's softer than the previous version so if you have problems maybe you should consider to switch to this one so as we all know by now, hopefully, this frame is used by Rafael Nadal. Uh, it's constructed for his swing uh, from the beginning. Really vertical um, swing style creates a lot of topspin. Uh, and for me, it doesn't really suit me and how I hit the ball. I tend to hit more flat, uh, which kind of ends up being a little bit odd for me uh, because the frame is so aerodynamic and made to be swung like Nadal and for me it doesn't really work it feels not as fast as it should be when I hit the strokes that are more vertical and more more topspin oriented I feel like I get a lot of swing speed uh, and therefore a lot of more topspin uh, but for example in my backhand uh, and so on I feel like it's not helping me as much as it should be so I know this frame is very popular uh, among a lot of players young juniors and so on uh, because of the power and the ability from the frame to create this top spin for me I didn't really find it to create that much top spin I tried to play uh, with the, the head extreme at the same time and also my own racket which is the John X Vicor Pro uh, and I didn't feel like I got more top spin uh, or more angles or anything so for me it wasn't any difference really uh, I think it's more mentally 
that you know this racket is supposed to create topspin, but you still need to create topspin by yourself. So it's a really good frame, it's powerful, it's great for someone who doesn't rely on power, they need a little bit help, maybe younger juniors or even older seniors, uh, or a player that really likes to hit heavy topspin, grind it out at the baseline, uh, and really make your opponent run and work to, to win the ball. Um, because if you use this racket in the right way, it's a pain in the... Yeah, uh, I met players using this frame and it's really difficult, especially on clay, uh, when they hit these heavy topspin shots. Um, it's really hard to handle, so if you have that kind of playstyle, this frame is a perfect match for you. So that will be all for this review. If you have any more questions, please ask me in the comments and I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Uh, and stay tuned for a comparison video with the Babolat Pure Arrow and the Head Extreme. They will go head to head and I will see the differences and maybe even crown a winner in the end. So that will be all for me. Have a great time and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.